Aside from all of the major stars on Hollywood's A-list, this year's Oscar ceremony will also have its live orchestra mm -hmm. on stage throughout the night. Roxy Diaz is here. Roxy, you had the chance to catch up with the Muse director, Ricky I Minor. I sure did. The legend, yes. the icon, Ricky Minor. And what everybody at home should know is you could expect to hear the orchestra this year, but you're also going to see them because there's a lot of them, and they are preparing for over 160 cuts of music to the soundtrack to Hollywood's biggest night just take a look. There's the song that starts us off. Tonight there's two hosts to split the fee. The strings that wrap us up. Um, I just want to, oh, here we go, okay. I'm just and the man behind those tunes, veteran Oscars music director Ricky Minor, who's returning once again to orchestrate this year's ceremony. At a recording studio in Burbank, California, I got a preview of the tunes that are the soundtrack to Hollywood's biggest night. When you hear all this music, it's nice to see that there are actual people making this in real time. And that's really wonderful because you don't get a chance to see a live orchestra on TV often enough, in my opinion. I mean, there's close to upward of 160 pieces to prepare and be ready to play at any moment. How do you even wrap your mind around preparing 160, over 160 right. pieces? Well, I think that you, you look at what the job calls for and surround yourself by the best people. And we have normally two six-hour days to rehearse the whole show before we're in the theater. A big part of that prep, selecting songs for show breaks and presenters. So I have to kind of balance it with the personality of the person. Like when Barbara Streisand was on the show, I mean, you played the way we were. So those things speak to you right away. It's the biggest night in Hollywood when you think about it. How can you even please everyone's palate in one night? This is mm -hmm. 95 years. This is a, a rich history of music. And we may have come from different backgrounds and different stories, and it's celebrating that. It's interesting to me that Rihanna is coming off of this huge Super Bowl performance, then coming to perform for the Oscars. Do you think it's a way for the Academy to bring in more younger viewers? I think that that's a byproduct of it, but it's happening because she's getting a call to do it. Yeah. And that's the same thing with this orchestra. I mean, I personally go through and pick each person to make sure we're balanced. That's what makes it magical. Honestly, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Getting to see Ricky Minor in action was truly amazing. And one fun fact, he doesn't cue people off if they're talking too long. He has chaser music ready. Chaser music? Chaser music. I like that. Start off low, and then it's going to get high, and then get your butt off the stage. We That's gotta right, go. yeah. Gently move people Gently along. Move on. Before the hook comes out. <laughs> exactly. The Roxy, so great to see Thanks you. Really, really great story. Thank you. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.